Wow. What? You look great. Thank you. You ready to go? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Hope you're hungry. <laughs> Starving. Dinner. Let's go this way. I want to see you. Thank you. Are you gonna order the same usual? I usually get a double cheeseburger. I don't know if you'd like to get something like that. Yeah, I'd love that. Two double cheeseburgers. Yeah. And a couple of drinks. Yes. Very well. I'll come back with your drinks. Thank you. So I was... <sighs> you first. Okay. How was your day? It was okay. Kind of hectic, but it's going a lot better now, that's for sure. How so? Well, I'm with you now. Really? <laughs> well, it took you long enough. What's that supposed to mean? Well, we've been talking for a while, months even, and I've been waiting for you to ask me out. So, I'm glad you did. Me too. Anything else? No, that'll be it, Ruben. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Thank you. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> that is good. Yeah. That is damn good. I'm glad you like it. Do you usually do this? Mm -hmm. Recommend meals for girls knowing that they'll like it? Um, no. Uh, I've only taken you and my ex out here once, and um, usually when I suggest something, they end up liking it. So, turns out I was right. So, this place must really mean a lot to you, huh? Yeah, it does. Well,. I like it here. And you were definitely right about picking this meal out for me. But don't assume you're always right, okay? I'm hardly ever wrong, though. A man who says that he is rarely wrong is wrong. Words from the wise. <laughs> okay. So, what does that say about women? Women are always right. <laughs> no wonder women and Google have so much in common. What now? What do Google and women have in common? You won't let anyone finish a sentence without making a suggestion. <laughs> you know, you're lucky I have a sense of humor. I don't think luck has anything to do with it. Really? How so? You're intrigued. Most girls I know would drop a guy if they had to wait months before he'd ask them out. They think they're getting played. Well, I'm not like most girls. I know. So tell me more about your day.
safe and sound. Thank you again for today. Worth the wait? Definitely worth the wait. I'm glad. I'm sorry. What? For taking my time with you. It hasn't been easy for me, you know, since... Well, you know. You don't have to apologize. Not for that. But... I think you're doing the right thing. Yeah. You think you're going in or what? No. <laughs> no, uh... I'm thinking of kissing you and wishing you goodnight. <laughs> well, that's one way of making it out to me. How can I keep doing that? Friday? Dinner and a movie? As you wish. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, Hans. See you later. Much later. Sir, just wanted to check on you. How's everything going? Um, yeah, everything's good. Thanks for checking in. Mom, Dad, and I are still tripping out. You moved so far and by yourself. Well, I just wanted to be as far as possible so I could really make it on my own. I don't want to rely on anyone. Hey, I'll call you right back. I'm still moving some stuff around. Keep it together, Sarah. Probably just... dogs. Oh my god.
thing out of your house. I need some fresh air. Nowadays, we live our daily lives as a busy routine of work, school, and personal life under the pressure of time and deadlines. We get caught up so much in it that we tend to forget about the things that truly matter. We start to forget about our physical and emotional well-being. We start feeling lost, frustrated, sad, and dissatisfied. We start losing touch and balance with our emotions and thoughts to the point where we not only hurt ourselves, but also hurt those around us. I, for one, can at least say that I've been through this. However, I decided to start doing yoga about one year ago as an initiative to make a change in my life. And ever since then, I had not only grown as a person, but I have learned to view everything in a whole different perspective. I've come to feel like I'm truly free. When I first heard about yoga, I thought of it as just a mere way to exercise and be healthy. But what I didn't realize was that it was actually so much more than that. This is something that I have learned from none other than my yoga teacher, Denise Rocha. Well, hello, my name is Dee Rocha. I am a um, retired nurse of 15 years. I'm also a clinical instructor for Pima Medical. Um, and I have been an active meditation and yin yogi for a little over 10 years now. Uh, and I am currently pursuing my two, 300 hour uh, second yoga certification. It is through her that I have been able to have a better understanding of yoga. Not only is she very kind, but she has gained so much knowledge that she wishes to share. Well, <laughs> the philosophy of yoga, um, while well, it is not a religion, um, and for many, many years we used to think, uh, the Western, Western America and the Western world used to think that yoga uh, was a big philosophy. Um, it is um, what it is an Indian practice, and they've been practicing for many, many, many hundreds and hundreds of years, thousands and thousands of years. Um, and so yoga started all in meditation poses. That's what yoga is. It wasn't the asana. Asana means pose, but yoga was just sitting down on the floor uh, out in nature and in a meditational pose called the mudra. Uh, any type of arm uh, positions, whether it's a prayer position or where it is a finger mudra or a lifted position to where we lift up our hearts. Um, and that was the yoga. Yoga is not the asana. Asana means the pose, the actual physical movement. Um, Yoga, it means to yoke, to unite, to unite mind, body, and spirit, that journey within. Um, it is through, um, and it is through our body, through asana, through the movement, that yoga can teach us how to 
look within ourselves, right? Uh, if we stand fierce in warrior two, then we are most likely fierce and strong in our world. But we should also be able to surrender like in simple poses, like child's pose, right? When we bring our forehead and we come down. So being able to be strong and being able to surrender. Um, and yoga teaches you to create space in your hearts and in your brains. Um, if you can create length in your arms, maybe you can create length in your brain and allow changes. Uh, you know, if you puff up your heart and back bends, then maybe we can open up our hearts, you know, to different changes. So um, it is through the pose that we look inside of ourselves so that we can um, learn how to either be a better person or make some type of impact in the world. Denise is a passionate yogi now, but her life was quite different before she started practicing yoga. My life before yoga was um, very, I was in a different place. Um, I was very chaotic as an ER nurse. Uh, I did live a very, very busy life, which I still do. But in the practice of yoga, it has brought in some type of calmness in, in, in my life uh, where I am more energetic. I feel happier and more positive. Um, so yoga has been such a great gift as far as bringing change, positive, healthy change in my life, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. While Denise continues training for her 300-hour certification at Surya Yoga School, she teaches both private and group classes. Almost all, if not all, of her students are beginners just like me. They are of different ages and of different backgrounds. Her students, such as Sally, have expressed how yoga has affected their life. Yoga became interesting to me when I was going through a lot of stress in my life, and it's definitely helped me with mindfulness. So I'm grateful for yoga, yes. Um, yoga has impacted me emotionally, spiritually, physically, in all the aspects, um, but mainly just to be um, in tune with me, with, with my spirituality. Yoga is also known to have different physical benefits. It is proven to lower blood pressure. It is proven to aid uh, abdominals, okay? It is proven to align the spine and create mobility. It is proven to um, open up the fascia and uh, keep a movement in the skeleton, even though everybody's anatomy is different. Um, but yoga is for every body, every physical body. Um, so now in the Western world, we don't see it so much as a philosophy. It is now an actual scientific proven health. Uh, and it's not a fitness. It's not like Pilates or Zumba. It is an actual therapy. And as a nurse, I I am pursuing to become a yoga therapist um, because I do believe in medicine, absolutely. We all, we're always going to need medicals and doctors and science, uh, but it is through yoga that we can go far beyond our health. Um, but it is because now I can see the science and I can prove it and I myself um, am a witness to that. Additionally, yoga is also capable of having a positive impact in our overall health and wellness. It is often used in the healthcare profession of occupational therapy. I've interviewed Dr. Cecilia Fierro, who is the co-director and assistant professor of the occupational therapy program at UTEP. She explained to me how yoga is used and applied in occupational therapy. Occupational therapy utilizes a lot of different interventions and a lot of different um, mediums and modalities. And yoga is just one of many that helps us engage our clients um, to either improve on posture, improve on balance. And yoga is just one of those things that allows us to actually improve on that and to, again, engage the client in simple activities to be able to improve their balance, to be able to move their functional mobility. The other component um, with yoga is the meditation component, which again also allows us to utilize that to enhance individuals' psychosocial um, skills and to deal with any psychosocial disorders that can help um, with meditation as a, an adjunctive type of therapy. Well, as a whole, I think yoga helps people grow. When I, I taught it um, previously, I always love to see the progression of students at the beginning to after a few months and just the strength and the positivity and the calmness that um, 
takes over them. Along with some of her fellow OT students, Ms. Fierro also visits different public schools to teach students about mindfulness. They teach them ways to deal with stress from school work and standardized state exams. And it is in these sessions that they implement yoga. Using mindfulness and yoga in children right now has been very beneficial. It's been well received in some of the um, classes and, and schools that we've utilized it so far. So the students are really enjoying it. They feel that they feel more relaxed and that they can implement some of these small strategies to help them be more successful in school, whether it's with test taking or with bullying, to help them use mindfulness and yoga to calm their own anxiety, to calm their own nervousness, and to, again, release any type of stress stressor related to their daily activities. And with occupational therapy, being able to incorporate yoga into these, these workshops, we're able to, you know, not go through a full yoga sequence, but we're able to give students glimpses of what a yoga practice is like and how they can still them, their mind and their body. And then we also incorporate breathing as well. And I was just telling a group of students yesterday we're so busy that we forget to breathe. And of course we're breathing all the time, but we forget to breathe deeply and calmly. And so incorporating those two really helps bring down stress levels. Ultimately, yoga is something that is beautifully complex and has positive impacts in our lives. This is something that both I and others can agree with. Denise has undergone her own journey with yoga but everyone's experience is different. Mine has just started, and I'm still struggling my way through it. But upon hearing about her and others' story, I've come to realize that everyone has their own struggles. No one is perfect, nor are our lives. However, it's all about making progress and working through the good and bad towards who we want to become as people. Because at the end of the day, we are all capable of accomplishing greater things, but it can only happen if we take the initiative to change. And change always starts within our body, mind, and soul. Namaste. Sometimes it's hard to wake up, but then I remember that I love running. I can't remember a year that I didn't compete with the tracking team. I love how I can interact with the natural, feel the breeze in my face, so I know I'm alive. Running every day helps me to charge my energy in a positive way. I love running, but what I love more is that Ciara runs with me. Hi, Ciara. <laughs> well, are you ready to run? Yeah. Ciara and I have been best friends since elementary school, and just like me, she also loves running. I think that tracking is something that we enjoy together. 
We like the idea that we are different from the rest of our partners at school. Of course, I'm not the popular guy among the other students because nobody's interested in the athletic boy. When there are so many parties to go. I don't party because I'm not interested. I like to spend my time wisely than lucid drinking pretending to be someone that I'm not just to fit in. Honestly, I don't care what they say about me. I'm happy with who I am and I'm comfortable with my life. Everything will be nice in my life. <sighs> If it wasn't because of Eric. Eric is Ciara's boyfriend. He's friend of everyone in the school but me. He's in every party. He's the first one of being invited. Ciara and Eric have broken up several times that I even lose the count. But for some reason, Ciara always go back to him. You must be thinking, why Eric would be a problem in your life? He has nothing to do in your life. Well, one thing you should know about me, I'm in love with Ciara. I know that maybe I'm wrong. Ciara has been my best friend for more than five years. But there is something in Ciara that I find very attractive every time I look into her eyes. She makes my days with just join me at park every afternoon. I'm the only one who knows my feelings about Ciara, but she knows how important she is to me. Sometimes I feel like she takes advantage of that. But some friendships are so important to us that we will do anything to make them last. Are you ready for the math on this year? I don't know. It is too much stuff to do relating to school. It must be a joke, right? We have been going to the marathon since we met. We have never missed one year. Why is that you suddenly decide not to go? You have to compete. Not because it is what we have been doing the last years. It means that we're going to continue forever, don't you think? You're acting weird today. Maybe you're not thinking clear. I think I should go. Maybe Sierra has already figured out what's worth and she'll never go back to Eric. This is my chance to let her know how much I can be more than a friend to her. Hi, Sierra. I miss you. You always said that you miss me, but you don't want to be always here for you, right? <laughs> Guess what? I decided I'm going to compete this year's marathon. Really? It will be the same without you. Yeah, I think that it would be good to get distracted. Why Sierra wants to get distracted? Surely she wants to escape from her reality. I want this to be your reality. Well, tomorrow we start practicing. Hey, no excuses. As if I needed more practice than you. <laughs> Thank you.
sure it's Eric. Eric always makes fun of the tracking team, as if the prize was something to be proud of. that this time might be my opportunity to tell Sierra how I feel about her. Then, maybe she finally notices me as something else that just her best friend. Where to? To the meeting at Jessica's house. Who's Jessica? Stay, we never come together for a drink. Yeah, because that's supposed to be something of both of us. Why didn't you better come? I swear it's more fun than being here. Are you going? Let's go. They are not my friends, neither yours. Well, if you don't want to go, I'm going. Wait for me then. He always invites me and I never go. You're saying that was an invitation? I'll text you. Why am I doing this to me? I don't do this for Ciara. I do it because I like it. Because it has been my passion since elementary school. I'm not letting Ciara or Eric ruin the only thing I enjoy doing every day. I run because I like it, not to please anyone. Sometimes I forget that trying to please others by doing what they would like us to do, we could be so unhappy. That's why I always have to remember that I go first, that I must do what I enjoy doing, not what they say is cool or normal or popular. Only when we learn to put ourselves in the first place is when people around us begin to value the person we really are. Sarah is not a bad person, she just forgot who she really is by pleasing someone else. It is never too late to start choosing the person we want to be over anything. Then, life starts to make sense. That is the real metal we must pursue. Hello, my name is Frank and we are looking for a volunteer to become part of our television show. Now this episode is about a kidnapping, a child kidnapping, child kidnapping. But don't worry, it's perfectly safe, we're all actors and performers and it's under... Now this episode is about a kidnapping. I'm interested, can you tell me more? My name is Frank Light. I'm the director and host of the show, uh, Red Button. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Red Button basically was a reenactment of real life scenarios, uh, extreme scenarios. Yeah. Controversial stuff we covered. 
crime, uh, prostitution. The idea was to see what people went through from their point of view. We started production on August 21st, 2016. Yeah, I remember explaining the Rogers family. I told them that their daughter wasn't in any real danger. See, they're, they're actors, they're, they're performers. Uh, they have their characters, but it's all improvised. So the actor still has the thrill, I guess, of not knowing what's going to happen. But it's all safe. Uh, they know each other, they know the actors, uh, they have a safe word if anything goes wrong. Uh, whenever I'm explaining it to my clients, I tell them that it's, uh, it's an experience like uh, the lost uh, Cruz's escape room. It's, it's like a, it's interactive, it's almost like a game. It feels real, it looks real, it's not real. Uh, they're supposed to be safe. I opened the door. Frank, Frank walked in, I, I knew one for black button or red button. Sounded interesting. Far, 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 far was I from knowing that what seemed crazier became even tragic at the end. It was even crazier than I thought. The day of the shooting, uh, I had my, my own uh, monitor and I can see the, the live feed from uh, Lily's camera. Her parents were standing right beside me. It looked like everything was going fine. But when the kidnappers uh, approached her, they weren't my guys. She was so intelligent. So talented, she was a black belt. We want our daughter back. We, I want my baby back. Oh my gosh, look at you! You look so beautiful! Yay! Why don't you hold it up like that? <laughs> I don't know who they were. actually took her and we just watched okay. I knew it I knew something was wrong I just want my little sister back she used to get A's, straight A's in school. <laughs> she loved sushi, so we take her to the Dragonfly, that Chinese restaurant or that Japanese restaurant. We want our baby back. We miss her. We miss her so much. I'm cried out. Can't cry anymore. I can't cry. Video didn't stop. <laughs> Her parents watched. Have a great day, okay?
can't do anything. We called the cops up. They couldn't find her. You would see that we pressed the red button, but it wasn't even a real button. We just did it for the show. Her mom kept pressing it. She kept pressing it. She couldn't understand why it didn't work. I want it all, I get up by it. I told her she gotta come try it. They wondering what I've been doing. I told them I'm keeping it quiet. Uh. I pull up, you know I be moving. Whipping the four and I'm cruising. The money I'm speaking is fluent. All of my business is booming. Stacking my cash in the book. Stacy! Hey, girl. Hey, look at you. You look nice. Girl, you know, trying to get my body right for the summer, you know. Mm -hmm. But of course, how was math class? Ugh, do you even have to ask? I swear, if math was a person, I would just choke it, like just. Oh, come on, Star. We're this close to graduating. <sighs> yeah, I know. Hey! Is that? Again, do you even have to ask? You shan't tell begging body spicy mommy hot tamale ow I see you looking at me but you can't handle all this ha so what y'all talking about we should be talking about how loud you are I'm pretty sure Kyrie heard you all the way from Boston oh girl don't get me started on Kyrie oh here we go right. who's Kyrie my future husband right <laughs> oh. all right good morning class Today we have an interesting assignment for you guys. So I reviewed your grades last night and I was very disappointed. Not surprised, to be honest. So anyways. Um, so I will have an assignment for you guys. That way you guys can remake your grade. Hopefully you do better. Go check it out. Um, but yeah, so as you can see here, you guys really suck. I mean, um, you guys did all right. Every grade affects the other, so if you're in absence, you can't participate. We will cover a lot of each class period, so being in class is imperative. It will lead to becoming filmmakers, journalists, artists, and storytellers. So much fun. You'll end up like me. This class is about effort and growth as an artist, as you advance from basics of film creating your own. So on the 29th, we're gonna have the introduction. Have the introduction. Uh, pretty boring. On the 30th, we're gonna have screenwriting, a uh, little story, and that's gonna be a class assignment. On the 31st, so to raise your grades, you're all gonna have a writing assignment. A writing assignment. Calm down. Calm <laughs> down. Shut it. Uh, um, oh. <laughs> so you're going to write a paper on your worst fear. And how to plan to overcome those fears? Or can you write about a paranormal and haunted experience? Alright? <sighs> See you guys next week. <laughs> Talking about riding this thing. Okay. Quit touching my honey bun. <laughs> hey, can you wake him up? I don't want to. Come on! Forget him! Oh. Oh, I can't believe this man really gonna give us a riding assignment. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, well, you have any Well, 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 look what we have here. The trash gets picked up tomorrow. Be ready. Who are you calling trash? Please, the only thing that is trash is that outfit that you got <laughs> on. Oh. Oh, wow. I didn't know your dogs could bite back, Star. Speaking of dogs, how'd you even get here? Did someone leave your cage open? Don't start, Star. You don't want this smoke. Girl, I will roast you like a chicken. Bring it. Uh-uh, who's she bucking at? If you're feeling froggy, jump! Listen, I would stay, but you being in my presence already makes me want to throw up. Bye bye This isn't over, Star. Be ready. Posse. Dream looking in, you know?
sleeping? Guys, guys, I got a quick question. Like, <coughs> bro, not my bad. Something's on the Cut. Hey, so let me ask y'all a question. Who's the best rapper of all time? You mean of this generation or back in the day? It don't even matter. Well, Drake. Go back to sleep, Drake. What's wrong with Drake? Man, Drake make music for people and they feel it's all crying emotionally and stuff and a whole bunch of strippers. Man, okay, man. don't even Deshaun because you know you be playing his music in your car when you be in your phone <laughs> because your girl got someone better. Listen, that was one time, okay? I was going through some emotional things. Okay, say so you're guilty? I am not guilty. Guilty? In this one time, I'm guilty. Okay, huh, like R. Kelly. <laughs> no, because I didn't pee on nobody. <laughs> Ah. Yo, where's the food? Because I'm starving. Why are you always doing that, girl? You know I already got the food. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Hello? Who's this? Who's this? Hello? What? Hello, who's this? It's Stacy. Uh, no, it's Stacy. Who's this? How did you get my number? I looked it up on Google. Okay, I'm not playing games. Who is this? Can I get some pizza? How do you know we have pizza? I'm hungry. Okay, stop. You need to stop this. No, you stop and listen. I'm hungry, I want pizza, and I'm gonna kill you. Okay, that's it. How did you get my number? Hello? You okay? Who was that? I don't know, but they said we're gonna die tonight. See, I don't have time for this tonight. Oh, stop. It was just a prank for some kids. Little kids don't play like that. Can't tell they pay the bill again. Oh, shut up. The guys, too. Like, how are we just going to help? Guys? Lost him. You know what? I have an idea. We should arm Brussels before they get back. Good idea. Hello? I know what you did last summer. Who is this? You know who this is. Girl, get me! 
Luck, Mr. Scary Man. What is you gonna do? Now you look white shirt. Oh, what? Come here then. Bring it. Ha 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 ha. Bring it. What? 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 Oh no, let's get him. We're gonna have He's right there! Ah! It's on! Alright, what's up? I got my crew here with me. My crew here with me. Goo goo! Oh yeah! What's that? We have three passes. Let's go get Alright, you know what's for up there. Come on! Gotcha. You guys are pathetic. What, what's going on? I told you guys this wasn't over. You just got pranked. Wait, what? Not the brightest crayon in the box, huh? Let me slow it down for you. You just got pranked. <laughs> okay, wait, hold up. So you mean to tell me you and your little raccoons was in this all the whole time? That's what I said. Okay, you know what? You and your little attitudes will get you beat up. Don't get mad at us because you're naive and easily prankable. I can't believe you'd stoop this low, Nicole. Oh, like your self-esteem? Oh, you mean like your brain cells? Remember, Star, I'm not a street, so don't cross me. Remember, Nicole, I'm not a swing, so don't push me. Oh, you should have let me hit her. You know, I still feel really humiliated. I can't believe Nicole did that to us. Well, believe it. Oh, she ain't no angel. Oh, and speaking of the devil. Oh, look at Star and her zoo animals. Do you guys still feel humiliated from last weekend? Oh, girl. She just let me get her. She don't know who she messing with. No, nah, don't. It's cool. You triggered. No, nah, I'm just done wasting my time. Once a loser, always a loser. Hey, Nicole. What? Gotcha. What are you talking about? Uh, I... Ah! <laughs> Wait, help me, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey girl! Hey! Look at you! Sorry guys. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Who's this? Who's this? It's Stacy. Bonquisha. It's Stacy, not Bonquisha.
believe you'd stoop this low, Nicole. Oh, you mean like your self esteem? Oh, oh, you mean like your brain cells? The f. <laughs> Go! <laughs> you okay? What was it? I don't know, but they said we're gonna die. See, I don't have time for this. I gotta go. I don't have any circumstances, so. Oh, no, we're sorry, you're blind. <laughs> Dad, I don't think you got no. We got a We got a <laughs> 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 <laughs>